Life Before True Hope. Um, I saw some differences after I weaned my son, Josh, at three years old. Um, he did not act like the other two children that I have. I have two daughters. And he would just lay his head down during the day and would not be active. He appeared depressed to me. He did not play. Um, he just was really different. When I had weaned him, that's when he started throwing fits. He would bite everyone. And we thought this was a stage. But this lasted for years. Other things, he was very particular. He would only eat certain things and he was consistent with it. I could not introduce certain things. Um, he didn't handle changes very well. If we changed up the day or changed up the diet, there was a fit about that. Preschool was not uh, possible because uh, he wouldn't sit still, he wouldn't listen, and so I opt for homeschooling. I spent the entire year on nothing but behavior. I took him to a psychiatrist, and for two years, we experimented with drugs. With him on the drugs, he had nightmares. He wouldn't eat, so he was losing weight drastically, and he was already very thin, um, small frame. I was very concerned about the crying spells we went through, um, the rages. I spent all day in meltdowns. I could not go out without um, him throwing his fits and total strangers having to um, intervene to get him under control. It was just constant uh, opposition. At night, it was night terrors. And so he wasn't getting sleep. I wasn't getting any sleep. I was discouraged. I was exhausted. I was frustrated. I had my own crying spells. <laughs> One day, because uh, Joshua was invited to a church, this uh, bus driver would go around pick up all the kids. And after he dropped Josh off, he had seen him for a couple weeks and I guess was observing his behavior. And he told me, he said, your son reminds me of myself when I was his age. And so I listened to him and he explained to me that he was bipolar and that he was on a supplement called Empower Plus and that there were eight other children that were going to this church and that he was working with them and was seeing major differences and encouraged me to call True Hope and try it. So I went online and did the questionnaire um, and then made the phone call and I don't remember who it was but the nice person told me that um, they would work with me and they would show me how to work with my son as far as the diet goes and what to implement and what to take out and I actually had hope. I realized why it's called true hope because it's actual hope. I felt hopeless and in despair. I felt alone and all of a sudden I didn't feel alone. I felt like I had a friend that truly understood what I was going through. I remember three days after I had put my son on this that we didn't have a meltdown like we were having every day and that he was actually listening to me just on the simplest things. 
And I was like, whoa, there's something to this. And I was very excited about it. Removing Josh from the meds was scary to me because I had no support in the family, from friends. They thought I was total crazy. They thought I was doing harm to my son by removing um, what the doctor had prescribed and that here I was listening to someone and this was totally unsafe. Once um, we were on the Empower Plus and the soy was implemented and choline was implemented, I noticed um, that I could teach him, that he started writing his name. Where before, I would take him to the park and I would use a stick and try to do the letters and it was no go. And so with homeschooling, um, it was just behavior before uh, the True Hope. Now with True Hope, he's painting. He's finger painting. Um, I was implementing um, rice on a cookie sheet and we would draw out the letters and he was actually doing that. Then I allowed him to finger paint the letters in pudding and that worked. And uh, reading to him, he actually would, was listening and he was interested in the stories that I was reading to him. And then he wanted to draw. And so this hunger that I was looking for uh, hunger for knowledge, hunger to learn, hunger to listen. It was happening right before my eyes. I tell everyone about True Hope. I wish I could do something that would bless their life the way they have blessed mine.